Hi, welcome to the academic broadcasting platform. Today, we will solve this problem. Um, this math we can solve in multiple ways. First, I will show how we can solve this math in a shortcut way. Then we will see the other different ways how some people they try to solve this math let's see before starting this math we need to think few seconds how we can solve this math in a shortcut way if we bring 9 to the left side and root x minus 9 to the right side then it will be more easier to solve then we can do the have the regular square on left side and at the right side then we will get root x minus 9 whole square is equal to root x minus 9 whole square then to the left side we can use this formula a minus b whole square we already know that a square minus 2ab plus b square then left side will be x minus 18 root x because the formula 2ab so 2 into a a root x into b 9 so 18 root x plus 81 because b square plus 9 square and right side x minus 9 then we can bring plus x and plus 81 to the right side so x x so there is nothing here then minus 9 minus 81 will be minus 90 then minus minus we will just reduce from the both side then it will be 18 root x is equal to 90 bring 18 to the right side then we will get 90 divided 18 so that will be 5 so root x is equal to 5 then we have to do the had both sides square then we'll get x is equal to 25 so our answer is 25 so that is the shortcut way you can solve this math within a few seconds but some teachers they solve this problem otherwise uh, now i will show you the second way how we can solve this problem before moving to the second step we can do one more thing here we can just verify our x value is right or wrong that will be helpful for you to check your answer so root x plus root x minus 9 is equal to 9 that was our question so we know our x is equal to 25 now we will put x value root 25 plus root 25 minus 9 is equal to 9. So 25 plus root 16 is equal to 9. So root 25 is 5, root 16 is 4, then is equal to 9. So we see here our left side and right side is equal. So left side equal to right side. So our answer is correct. Now I will show you how you can solve this math in another way. For the first method, we bring 9 to the left side. But for this method, we we'll put everything at the same way. Then we do the square. If we do the square, we'll get root x plus root x minus 9 whole square is equal to 
9 square and that will be 81 and left side we know that this pattern is look like the formula a plus b whole square so we know the formula a plus b whole square you can see here a square plus 2ab plus b square after using this formula we will get x plus 2 root x into x minus 9 plus root x minus 9 whole square that will be x minus 9 and 81 to the right side then we add x and x that will be here 2x then that will be the same way how it was before then 81 will bring 9 to the right side that will be 90 to the right side and we can take two here common from the both side so that will be 2 into x plus root x square minus 9x then we can bring 2 to the right side to the next step and divide it 90 divide it 2 that will be 45 then we can bring this x to the right side and we can do here again the regular square on both side after doing the square on both side we will get s square minus 9x left side and right side we can use the formula we know the formula already that's the formula for a minus b whole square after using formula we will get minus 9x left side and minus 90x plus 45 to the right side then we can bring everything to the left side we will get this equation and now we see here minus 9x plus plus 90x that will be plus 81x to the left side and right side we can bring 45 square then we can write down 45 square as like 9 into 5 whole square so 9 into 5 whole square is like 9 square into 5 square so 9 square actually 9 into 9 into 5 into 5 that way we can write and the left side we can write 81 same like 9 into 9 then the last step we can bring 9 into 9 to the right side so we can now my uh, 9 9 we can cross 9 9 we can cross we can get 5 into 5 25 so x is equal to 25 that is our answer so now you can see actually our answer is same but the first method is more easier than the second one so before starting any math you have to first think how that will be more easier for you to solve this problem in a shortcut way before starting math you can take at least 5 to 10 seconds then you can start the math that will be more easier for you that's all for today Hopefully you guys like how you can solve this math by using multiple methods. And please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you.